Hey guys, so I'm a little off kilter. That's because I'm gonna be like literally showing you products over here. So I just figured it would be easier if I was kind of just like placed out of the way. So I'm like off to the side. I would also like to note before we start the video that I am not nude. I am wearing a Bardot uh, top, I believe is what we call these bad boys. So yeah, got that on, but it's like hitting right out of frame. So anyways. I feel like everybody like talks about that. They're like, I'm wearing a shirt. Promise, promise, me over here, I'm wearing one. So basically, today's video is going to be sort of a lingerie haul. I mean, it's not, like lingerie can be considered whatever you want it to be. It could be something sexy for someone else. It could be something sexy for yourself. It could literally just be your intimate clothing that you wear on the daily. Lingerie is an array of things to different people, so whatever. Um, I got some very basic things like just some plain bras and a couple other things. Basically Victoria's Secret is having a sale. I don't think that it's called like the semi-annual sale or anything. Well in fact I know it's not because they didn't give me a bag that said semi-annual sale and when they have one of those they let you know for sure. When I walked in there was like something in the doorway that was like blah 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 and we're having a sale and I was like okay great. I can spend some money here. I did find a few things there. I also have been shopping at Lacenza more since I've been like losing weight. Um, I never thought that I really like fit into anything at Lacenza, but apparently I do or their sizes are different than they used to be. I also used to think that their quality wasn't that great and as of recent, I've kind of been finding that to be a little bit different, so that's good. So basically I'm not looking for any like creepy or weird comments. I mean, if you want to be here and enjoy the video, cool, good for you, but I'm not going to be trying these things on that is purely based on the fact that people like to make really derogatory and inappropriate and just like weird comments. Um, some of them probably wouldn't be appropriate anyways, but whatever. Um, so yeah, basically I'm just showing you what I got recently, the good prices that I got it at. It's for whoever wants to enjoy it, I suppose, but don't leave me weird messages. Everybody wears underwear. You know, it's not that it's not that weird. It's not that unique. It's not that strange. So now that that kind of like disclaimer is out there, enjoy. So we're going to start with Lacenza because I feel like it actually has been having the like kind of cuter things. Maybe that's not necessarily true, but I can't walk into Victoria's Secret and pick out three bralettes and spend $75 on each bralette. Like that's just not realistic for almost anyone or like you know what I mean it's not you can't do it even like 50 bucks is kind of a lot when I see like literally across the way at La Senza that they have 50% off their bralettes that are $35 you know what I mean three bralettes that I have here I got all for 50% off and I believe that all three of them were $34.95. So two are exactly the same, which is kind of boring. So we'll get them out of the way uh, first. So very first one is this guy here. And this one, it doesn't have like a full like cup situation to it, but like you can't see anything. You can't like differentiate part of the boob to the other part of the boob. So this one I think is really great. It's also really cute with this strappy situation here. And it's just overall like super flattering. It's just really nice fit. Um, the back of it, it isn't just a single strap. It has this like, I suppose that's what makes it more of a bralette than a bra. It's not just a single strap. It also has this like bit that goes across your back that is also lace. So I do have to get mine in an extra large. Um, for reference, I'm like a 36D or a 38C. I go between the two. Um, usually I only go for the 38C if bras aren't available in 36D, basically. Extra large in these guys is pretty comparable to those sizes. And it does have an, like an adjustable back to it. It's set on the biggest. I usually wear it at about the middle one just to keep everything in place like you want it to be. So that is the first one. Kind of hard to tell detail um, with the black one. I understand. So we have it coming up in like a salmon color. 
So yeah, this one is exactly the same. There is nothing different except the color. So this is what the black one looks like, except in coral salmon color. Um, I don't know, I just feel like this color is like really flattering. With dark hair, it would be flattering with any color hair. It's just so damn pretty. So you can kind of see the back a little bit better there, except if you were actually wearing it, it would be like that. Same strappy situation, same everything. It does have underwire, so if you're not a fan of underwire, you will not enjoy this. But for me, it just gives you a little bit more support with having something that's not like, you know, like a gigantic cup. So that sounds like jock strap cup. <laughs> and I actually got the matching underwear for. And so they came, well, the thing is, is that with most of these, there was like four or five different underwear choices and you kind of just like picked whichever one you wanted. So they, I kind of like that instead of just having like one thong and one Brazilian and one full, like high cut, like whatever. Um, so I feel like this one might've been like Brazilian. It's just, there's nothing too special about it. Although, I mean, this is cute. This goes over your butt. There's also my hair on it. Yeah, this goes over your butt. It's just... It's just so cute. Like, look at the lace. The lace is beautiful. This was like part of a five for 35 or something. $16.95 by itself, which I wouldn't pay. Sorry to say, but I wouldn't. Like, that's expensive. <laughs> that's how much I paid for like the bralette, which I'm super happy about that pricing. But yeah, so this is the set that I got. Love it. It's super cute. Fits really well. And I mean, basically, I think for the two of these, I also, I went shopping with my cousin and I went in on her deal with her. So I did end up getting it for like the five or $6 price point. So like this set was like 20 bucks and that's, that's sick. That's a great price. So the last bralette that I got was I suppose a little bit sexier. Um, it looks like this. It, I think it's actually part of like their bridal line. I don't know. Anything white looks bridal. So like, that's not really like fair to say. But yeah, I was like, oh, this one will be cute. And like, you can wear it with anything that has like a double layer on the shirt. Like, it won't matter if you can see like some nipola, whatever. Not like literally see, but like through a shirt, you know what I mean? Like the, the nature of your boob. I don't know. But anyway, so I got this one. And this one's also in an extra large. This one has more of like a bra like look to it. If you can kind of see the back. Um, is just like a bra and the front I mean she's pretty see-through like this one you can see through now super cute love the way it fits I did try this one on it was great it was fantastic this one was also $34.95 half price great cool wore this out on a date with my boyfriend I'm sitting through dinner and I like I had like you know stuff all over like stuff over it, it was cute, it was fine, it was, you couldn't, it was not inappropriate. Um, basically, I'm sitting there and all of a sudden, like, something started hurting. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that <laughs> this was my first time with like a really small laced type of thing on, um, on uh, my Tata and I have my nipple pierced, so, Basically, it got caught in the lace. Oh my God, in the middle of dinner at the table. I was like, oh my God, Kyle, like I gotta get up. I gotta like, and I like told him and he was like laughing. He's like roaring and I'm like, this isn't funny. This fucking hurts. <laughs> like, so anyways, this one needs to be worn with caution if you have your nipple pierced. I mean, that's just a story from me to you. So just enjoy or don't or whatever. Also, I probably should have said at the beginning of the video, if you get like offended by underwear, you probably shouldn't have clicked on this video. I would think that that would be like a common sense type of deal, but common sense just ain't that common anymore. Am I right? Am I right? So the next item I actually got from Le'Veon Rose, and if this is the only thing I got from Le'Veon Rose, and I'm not, I, I'm not that smart, and this one's like a full body piece, Thing that like I mean you could wear this to bed you could wear this for whatever the heck you wanted to but basically the reason I'm saying I'm not so smart is uh, because this one has like the exact same type of thing going on as the one I just mentioned that gave me all the trouble so 
Nice going, Alana. Um, basically, this one is like, like I said, like a full one piece dealio. It looks really like long, which usually isn't the case, mostly with these like one piece situations. If you're as tall as me, five, almost eight, um, you have a problem with them. But I didn't try this one on. Basically, this one was on sale for 12 bucks. It's a large slash extra large, and I just assumed that it would fit. And maybe it's just not going to. I mean, I still haven't tried it on, so I can't tell you. Uh, but the back, the back is what sold me. So it has like this on the back part, um, on the back part of the bodysuit, but also on your back. That's <laughs> where this placement belongs. But then in the middle, it's like open. You see what I mean? Cause like the panel that you're seeing right here is actually from the front. So it's open down onto your butt. So I thought that that was really cute and it was only $12, the front, has, uh, like I said, the like panel in the middle of it. The front of it's quite basic. I don't even know if, you probably can't tell. Like this is why this is, this is why this is hard. Yeah, I feel like this looks kind of big. Like triangle cup, whatever, you get it. Yeah, so this was a really good deal. I don't know if it fits though. It just happened to be in my Lacenza bag because we're going back to Lacenza right now, but this is my last thing from Lacenza. So this guy, I mean, this was just cute. This I just wanted to have. You can wear this with like a bra and then put it into like a skirt and then wear like something over top of that and it wouldn't be quite as like sexy. But I just, I love navy and this was just like, I loved this. And this was a really good price. So this was $39.95. And then it was 50% off that. And then I had gotten a coupon 20% um, off your purchase or something. So I ended up getting this super cheap. So this one looks like this. It has like, it's hard to show the front and not show the back. So the front looks like this. And it has like underwire going like under and between your boobs. And then it's like open right at the very front there. And then goes down. This one's also a bodysuit. I feel like I kind of explained that, but I didn't actually say it. Then the back just has a, like sort of a bra strap here and then it's open like that. So this one is also in an extra large. This one I have tried on and it fits really well. So, and the back doesn't have the like lacing on it. It just has kind of like more a mesh detail. So the front, lace, back, mesh. So now on to VS, Victoria's Secret. Um, I actually picked up a sports bra. So this one is in 38C. For the sports bras, I'm usually like a solid 38C because I find that the band is kind of made smaller. So I usually stick to like the 38 side of things instead of 36. And I stick to a smaller cup so that things are a little bit tighter um, because you're working out. You're probably moving around. Do you know what I'm saying? This one is super cute. I don't know. <laughs> So it says it's the incredible by, try again. It's the incredible by, <gasps> oh girl. Incredible by Victoria's Secret Sports Bra. This was originally $59, which is a chunk of change. And I got it for $25.99, baby. And I mean, let's be honest, most of the reason I picked this one up was just because of the print. Like this is beautiful. I love this back on it looks like this has the really nice like racer back um i find that super supportive like it says in its little write-up it says like maximum support yeah maximum support focus baby victoria's secret on the very front there i just really like the pattern and i do tend to like the racer back style the best so this was a win for me. I was super pleased with the price of this guy as well. 26 bucks is a really good price for something that like, like this like feels good. This feels like it's gonna like <gasps> hike you in and just like keep you where you wanna be. Last two items are actual bras, real bras. Um, we will go with the most basic of the most basic first. So this guy is a 36D. 
it's a black bra obviously and to be honest I really liked the straps like this is like obnoxious like who would actually want to wear this and be able to see that your bra is from Victoria's Secret I don't know I just happen to like it what am I supposed to say I really like it it's just like it's in your face it's advertising it works I don't know so this one does not have its original price on it but I paid $14.99 and I mean I feel like that's pretty sick like that's like how much you'd pay anywhere for a bra even like Walmart it's uh, very minimal there is like no padding to it it's just like you know a cup and like just enough to cover the nipple that's that's it doesn't even have like anything in the front it's very soft um, one weird thing is that the back part here kind of has like a rubbery feel to it. I don't know if you'll be able to like see that by what I'm showing you. Probably not because I'm not showing it well. But I would just assume that that's just kind of like to keep it in place so it kind of like is more stuck to your skin than something that's like more cottony. I don't know. Cottony is not a word. And then last but not least is another bra. And this one is a Dream Angels push-up. So I feel like a lot of their bras are Dream Angel push-ups. I feel like this is like a really common style for them. I feel like they probably sell a lot of these. This one is in 38C. So this one is a beige bra, like a nice like tan beige bra. I don't know if everybody in the world knows this. In fact, I know that a lot of people don't know this just based on seeing people outside in public. You don't wear a white bra underneath a white shirt. That's like rule number one in like a girl's like handbook like you just don't because that's what you can see you wear something that's like nude skin color so having a nude bra is super important the only thing I wish that this one had was that it was strapless because it has like a really nice back on it see I'm trying to show you <laughs> it has like a really nice lace back on it this one does have a little bit of push-up nothing crazy um like minimal, minimal to medium, somewhere in there. Has, it's just really like romantic and girly looking, if you will. Has like some lace going onto the cup, has a bow in the middle, um, even the straps, you know, just have like a little bit of like prettiness, I guess, I don't know, it's just cutesy. And this one, of course, also doesn't have the price on it, but I paid $25.99, I might have already shown that, I don't remember. Anyways, this one would have been, you know, like 50 or 60 bucks. Anything that looks pretty and cutesy like this at Victoria's Secret is 50 or 60 bucks. I forgot I have two more things. So in one of my last hauls, probably like the very last one that I had for semi-annual sale, I ended up picking up just one hand cream, and I think I included it in the video but I use that thing to death. There might be like one use left in it. Like it is like, like I used it the frick up. And when I saw that they had these for $2.99 and they like, oh, and what I really liked about my other one was first of all, the smell. And second of all, how well it like fit in my purse. It was like, I don't know, probably like this by like this. It wasn't too big basically. So I saw that these ones existed and that they were again, like really purse friendly sized. The only thing I don't like about it is that like, on my other one the top just like popped but it like stayed on it this one you have to literally screw on and off not a big deal but it's like harder to do once you apply a lotion so anyways that would be like my only like eh but these ones are cuter probably to be honest so I got hibiscus splash and it's in like a chrome packaging and then I got this one which is just coconut and it's in like a yellow packaging and these both smell really good apparently they were originally only four dollars so not a crazy deal but I'll take it $2.99 for a hand cream is not a bad price all right that is the end of the video I hope I didn't offend too many people I hope that we're all on the same page here it's just cutesy stuff I'm just trying to show it to you just enjoy it like I do you know Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you do subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like hauls and you like what I'm doing and you want to see where I'm going to go with everything. Like it and subscribe. Also, how does everybody feel about my body highlight today? Because it's my first time and I am so pleased. I love it. I feel like it's actually like taking more attention than my uh, face highlight, which I'm okay with, to be honest. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.